In this video, I will show you how to optimize your frame using SOLIDWORKS simulation, once you have an initial design. I created a fairly simple model to show you how to first simulate the forces on the frame and then find an improved configuration to minimize the mass. First, assign a material to your component. I am using ABS plastic. I will also change the appearance to a darker color. Once you assign a material to your part, click on the Simulation tab. If you don't see it, right-click on one of the tabs and make sure it's selected. If it's not in this menu, click on Tools, Add-ins to activate it. The Simulation Add-in provides a study advisor to guide you through each step. I will not use it since it goes through all of the settings, but I will show you the main ones you have to worry about. From the drop-down, click New Study and select Static. A bunch of new options appear at the top, and each of them has an advisor option that explains more in detail. Let's add a new fixture. You can also select this from the new manager on the left. Fixtures are the surfaces that stay fixed and cannot produce a displacement. I will select the surfaces where the frame connects to the main body, where bolts and screws will be placed. There is also a connections option that simulates the presence of fasteners, but it is more complicated and the fixtures option will work here. Next, we apply forces. First, the weight from the main body, which will push on this pocket. I put 5 newtons for a drone of about 500 grams. And then the lift. I will select the surfaces where the propellers push the frame up, and put the same value as the weight, assuming the drone is in hover mode. Next step is to create the mesh. I will move the cursor towards the finer mesh and select curvature based mesh in the mesh parameters for a more accurate result. Observe how the mesh is finer around corners and fillets and coarser around bigger portions. Then you can right click mesh and run or select run the study from the command manager. It looks as if the arms are pushed upwards, but this is a stress result and it is not to scale. To bring it to the true scale, right-click Edit Definition. The displacement is also not to scale, so make sure you modify it to see how it would move in real life. Apart from the relatively small displacement of the four arms, this is not a bad design. To improve it, click New Design Study. You can only do this once you've performed the static simulation, which we just did. The first step is to add variables, the dimensions that you could change. I will add the diameter of the central hole, the diameter of the cylinder that connects to the propellers, and the thickness of the rib. Select the minimum and the maximum as well as the increment for each variable, such that SOLIDWORKS goes through all possible combinations also known as scenarios. Now add the goal of the study, for example, to minimize mass. You can also add constraints, such as a maximum stress above which a scenario would fail. I will not do that now, since I would have to check all of the properties of the material used. Click Run and observe how SOLIDWORKS goes through each design and gives you the optimal one. The scenarios that are grayed out are designs which have errors, such as the central hole being greater than the cylinder itself. Assuming I would have added a stress constraint, I can now use this improved design to make a component that still holds but is lighter than the initial one, without manufacturing and testing the first one. In the next video, I will show you how to make the propeller.